Oh. Hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Happy midweek Wednesday. It is Wednesday, right? I always have to check myself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's Wednesday. Oh, <laughs> and we have Tribute Productions joining us, who we're going to talk to in just a few minutes. We're going to talk to Bella from Tribute Productions. I am so excited. Yeah, I know you are, too. I know you are too. Um, I, you know, I haven't officially met Bella in person, so this will be our first virtual meeting, which I'm very excited about. Um, I feel like I know so much about her. Because <laughs> we go way, way back. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I know you guys do for sure. Yeah, really yeah. I'm so, very excited. Yeah, she's here today, and I have a little surprise for her. Oh boy! <laughs> uh oh, Bella, this is your life. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is again. But maybe, maybe sort of, kinda. Anyways, um, we're just gonna wait for a few more people to hop on. Let's see who we have. We've got Bella, we've got, oh, looks like Shanna's Shanna. there. Hey, Shanna, let's get you on here. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. would be great. Yeah, we're all about, you know, our, our lives with our ladies. Hey, maybe that's what we'll call it. Live with ladies. <laughs> <laughs> She's here. What are we calling it now? I don't know. Let's talk. Or... Let's talk. I know let's our talk thing or... is let's talk, know, let's talk live. live. Yeah. That's our thing. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Okay. Well, thank you so much to those who have joined us and to those who hopefully will be joining us. And we're going to go ahead and invite Bella on here. So... Yay. We ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right. So I think she already, so just accept. She oh, okay. Ready. We're about to go live with <laughs> Bella from Tribute Productions. Oh, here she, here comes. she comes. Did it work? I hear you. Are you? I hear, hear you. We can't see you though. <laughs> I wonder. Okay, is there something else I need to do? Do you know something? Else? Make sure your camera's on and that your video is on. How do we turn it up? <laughs> oh, that video's on. Let's see what else. Um, shoot, that's <gasps> on. Oh wait, oh. I just saw your. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. We got it. <laughs> Hi, girls. Just ask Sophia how to do it. I'm sure you know. Get, get to just help me. <laughs> and and Nettie, my mom was calling like right now, and I'm like, she's trying to call you. So sorry. Oh, Bye, guys. <laughs> Good to see you guys. You too. Nice to virtually meet you. Likewise, likewise. Knows all about you. I do. Oh, I love all your stuff and Thank you have like you. creative like postings awesome. and stories and images and what you do is amazing. I mean, it's just yeah. Thank you. I feel the same about you guys. I love what you guys do. Thank what a you. what a beautiful thing that you both are doing. Just you know, getting off the ground here and really, you know, we're just so passionate about featuring women, sharing their stories, talking about you know what they do, and yeah. So I love you. that. Thank you. So Bella, tell us where are you based out of? I am in beautiful Los Angeles, California. I grew up as an Orange County girl. Um, lived in. California my whole life and up in LA now. Okay, nice, excellent. Well, tell us about what it is that you do, or I know that's kind of a loaded question. <laughs> right, Nettie, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like you guys, I think I'm just a creator, manifester of all things creative. Um, I've always been a lot like Annette and I have had very similar backgrounds where we 
were dancers. Um, I, I took the acting path in, in college and high school. Nettie and I both kind of ended up in careers as Madonna impersonators. That's how we connected which is really cool. Madonna brought us together. Um, Madonna kind of paved the way for me to open up a lot of doors that I never thought would open. I had no intention of ever becoming an agent or an author or all these other creative things that I've done just kind of or organically happened in a way that it did. Um, so, so being a performer for so many years, open the door to being an agent and then also helping other people do what I do. Um, sorry about that. Um, of course the door's talking. Uh, sorry guys. Um, real life. Um, so yeah, so the, the agency work kind of led me to becoming um, a bit of a coach for other people because people would meet me and say, I want to do what you do. How do you, how do I do it? And at the time there was really not information on, how to become an impersonator, how to work in this industry. So I wrote a couple of books about how to, and then that kind of led to um, other other opportunities like um, creating for my company, like giant champagne glass girls. I have a, an entertainment agency that has like niche entertainment. I know I'm kind of all over the place, but my life has just been kind of all over the place. But it all kind of led to, to the next thing, you know? And so here I am now as an agent and producer and creating my next project, which would be with my daughter. And I'll tell you about that in a bit. Yeah, for so, sure. So what would you help hold that thought? <laughs> we have something to show you. Okay. Speaking of going way back, look what I dug up. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Do you remember that day? Yes, and we were trying to look at the date, like 1996. 93. Oh, 93. Oh my gosh. I was telling Sophia the whole story, Nettie, of, of how we did this show together and how much fun and there's, that was sharing that with you. We think there's. We had there's so much fun. The wig. The wig. <laughs> The wig, the wig yeah. they made me wear. It's so cool how our lives have been so parallel, you know? Because I think both, both of us, are, all three of us are just kindred spirits in that we we just create. Like, when you find the things that light you up, whether it's logical or not, this is what I teach my daughter, whether it makes sense or not, or whether it feels logical or not, you just move towards it. Just move mm -hmm. towards that thing that lights you up. And that's pretty much really I know for Annette and myself, that's what we've always done. And look at look at you guys. I mean, every time I see you, Nettie, you're just creating. This is such a cool it's such a beautiful thing to watch. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like when you're like that, you can't not do it. <laughs> right, exactly. And a lot of times people might rationalize, well, it doesn't make sense. Well, how am I gonna become an actor or how am I gonna be, be a dancer and it's such a hard field or whatever and it's just take the first step right just move towards it even if it doesn't make sense because you know that, yeah, that's kind of, you're right because if it's meant to be it will fall together exactly the doors will open even if it takes a minute you know like it didn't always come so quick to me it was like keep working at it keep moving towards it keep keep putting the energy towards that and then and be patient, of course, and then you will you will begin to see the opportunities that present themselves. And I think that and that's maybe what I was going to ask you before. Like your main thing, like now today, would be what being an agent. Yeah, it's interesting agency because um, my husband and I have this company, and the fun part of that, that is the creative part, which is all the like the champagne skirts and the costuming. Um, so yes, I'm an agent, but does that light me up? No, but um, but the ability to create all these things that these women get to wear and feel beautiful and, and the and the events, the people feel very magical and special with what we're creating for them. I would say yes, mainly that's what I'm doing, but I'm also doing another side project that started during the pandemic when um, of course we were all in a lockdown and didn't know what to do with ourselves. And 
And I wanted, yeah, I wanted to create something for my daughter that she didn't have to have this fearful experience about the pandemic, you know? And so we were sitting in a house one day and I said, well, we've got costumes, <laughs> we've got lights. And so we, we started a YouTube channel and um, we started a TikTok channel together, her and her, and um, that kind of escalated. And, and so I didn't really think that was gonna be something that I would pursue but I'm having the most incredible time with my daughter. She's self-taught with all her videos and, and editing and music editing. And, and so I can do the costume part and she does the directing and the editing part. And that's taking a life all its own, which I wouldn't have thought I'd be doing right now, but it's become so joyful and, and opportunities are presenting themselves. So there's a whole new generation of of family here that's learning something that I can teach her, but she's also teaching me. So we're doing that too. So that's uh, another project right now that we're, that we're I doing. Mean, I mean, we love it. Right? Um, the two of you, it's just, it's great. It is so entertaining. Thank you. She picked up a camera at four. Is she there with you? Does she want to peek in and say hi? She loves it. <laughs> she's filming. like, I'm the director today. I'm filming this. She's actually filming this oh, also. Of course you are. Of course you are. So we could do yes. We'll get her on Hi. here. Yes. And that, that would be amazing because yeah. um, when she was a little girl, yeah. yeah. She, she always had her camera with her. We'd go to a restaurant and she would have a camera with her and she would, I'd go, honey, what are you doing? She's like, I'm checking the lighting. And she's like at four, she kind of already knew, you know, she belonged. Oh, wow. in front wow. and behind the camera so you know just kind of something that was destined and and we were able to find joy in a time that was so strange you know and it kind of blossomed into that's something super inspirational yeah. i think for people <laughs> that's so great like and so like what would you say keeps you motivated on a regular basis to do what you do um i think think remembering to be grateful because sometimes I wake up and I go oh or I have to deal with this client or and then I try to shift my thinking and and say wait a minute this is an opportunity and this is a gift you know anybody to be working and getting paid to do something that they enjoy is a gift so I try to shift from any other kind of thinking to gratitude and that usually gets me back into a inspired place and then, of course, powwowing with my daughter and saying, what project are we doing next? What costume am I making next? You know, those kinds of things, I think, just keep life interesting. You know, working on a new creative project, mm -hmm. collaborating with others, yes. maybe uplifting somebody else, you know, and cheerleading somebody else to do something. I like all of that. Yeah. So. That's, that's wonderful. And so what are your goals for where you're at now? Do you have any, do you have future goals or? Uh -oh, she's frozen. <laughs> she, she's, coming, frozen. she's coming in. <laughs> you're a little frozen for us. Come on, Mercury, Mercury retrograde too. We know we're doing this, but. Um, that's our Mercury. <laughs> um, as far as goals, I would say um, to just live each day in the present moment. Um, the way my life unfolded, I would have never, I would have never been able to think up the things that I did or, or opportunities that came to me. And it, and I know I should have goals, but um, everything unfolded in a way that I would never imagine. So I just try to keep my life open to what comes to me, you know, and. Um, Yes, there's things in my mind that would be nice, but I think as long as I'm creating, then I'm that's my goal. And I can share that with others, that's my goal. And of that's course, inspiring awesome. my daughter. <laughs> that, that's perfect. Um, so is, would you say everything that you do personally, is it all, you know, it, so you do stuff online obviously with your daughter right and yeah. in person, like you're performing is it what you know is it part and part like tell us about yeah. that i would say for my uh tribute productions agency most of the people find me pretty much online or on our website 
a lot of times if there's a casting call that goes out to the casting directors that's typically how people will find me um and then I'll, I'll obviously social media um and then a lot of times you know i'm kind of the go-to girl with things that are hard to find for for like events and parties and that type of thing so i think you know just googling and people find me that way um and that's pretty much where i keep my advertising nowadays is really just internet uh, uh social media platforms so yeah i would say that what about Performing. Yeah, what about actually performing? Uh, yeah, <laughs> do you know, sometimes, yeah, I, I, you know, it's funny, I thought I, I thought I, you know, after I got pregnant, I kind of thought I hung up that hat, and I was okay with that, it was like nice to kind of just be behind the scenes for a long time, and then of course, she, she was like, tap, tap, and I'm like, oh no, I'm not, I'm not putting on Madonna costumes anymore, I'm done. And Sophia just kind of tapped me, and I, I know you know, understand, Eddie. You gotta, you gotta join me one of these times. Um, and she kind of tapped me on the shoulder. It took me about a year to get my bravery <laughs> back, and um, and she slowly started. You know, then it was like a really enjoyable, you know, situation where Sophia is recreating all these Madonna videos, and I'm like, oh, these are things I wish I could have done back in the day, but we didn't have the technology, so. As far as performing a little bit, a little bit on this, you know, TikTok, and then you know, some calls are coming in. I did get a call for the Whitney Houston movie and a couple little projects of Madonna, but a lot of people want '80s Madonna, and I just, I'm not, I'm not going there. <laughs> um, I'll do like you know, <laughs> when I can, and then, uh, uh, and then um, any kind of charity event is a is a yes for me always. Any, anything to do with children and that type of thing, yes, I will put on my point of bra. But, um, but other than that, that, there's just not a huge call yet for Madonna. Maybe when her tour comes out, they will that will change. But um, in the meantime, just little little sprinkles of projects here and there. Yeah, and that's fun. Okay. Fun. Yeah. That's great, that's great. And what advice might you have for other women who you know, kind of are in the field of, of what you do or just in general? Yeah, I would say if, if you're able, if any of us are able to kind of really pay attention to the things that light us up, like really, you know, because we're conditioned to just kind of get through the life, get through the day, you know, and just get to work and whatever. But um, if you can really stop and notice each time your body lights up, what, whatever it is, whether it's petting a cat or um, putting on a costume. I think when we really tune in and realize, I love, God, this makes me really smile. This makes me feel so good. Those are the things that you want to move forward with in your life. Even, like I said, even if it doesn't make sense, figure out what lights you up. And, and for me, I didn't think making music videos with my daughter would be something that lights me up so much. And it's, it does like so much that I said, I, I need to pursue this. I don't know how it's gonna make sense or what I'm doing, but in the moment of these mm -hmm. things, we are so full of joy that that's something to pay attention to, you know? And so I would say to anybody listening, really think about those moments in your day that light you up, even if it doesn't seem like it connects to a career somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I want, you know. wanted to ask you about that. How do you determine when it's okay? This is just something fun that I enjoy versus yeah. I'm gonna make a career out of this. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's difficult. Yeah, to to decipher the the difference. Yeah. Um, I think the thing the thing that lights you up. You're thinking about it a lot. Your your energy field changes. It shifts. You know when. When, when Sophie and I are talking about work or school versus okay for our next video and we're already like, should we go start chopping for a costume? Yes. Okay, should we fix your hair? Yes. Let's start talking about, and I go, I'm noticing my energy is completely shifted from my day to something mm -hmm. creative with her. So I feel this joy in my body. And that's different than, okay, this is fun. You know, this is, to book a job is fun. But to do something really creative with my daughter is joyful. 
super joyful. So I think you, I think you, your body will tell you the difference. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> with your, your child, I mean, mm -hmm. to be able to do something like that with your daughter is really special. It's, I'm so grateful. And Miles, when we did costume designing. That's true. <laughs> well, I guess I can relate to it. Like, yeah. yeah, because my son, who's a you know, budding actor, did a lot of live game shows and we got okay. to do costuming and it was oh, really cool. it was the best moments of my life. So that's I want to see. Yeah. See, there's more of that then. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'd no. love to see what you guys did. <laughs> yes, we'll definitely show you. But I mean, we I did want to do more of that. And then of course, said pandemic hit. So <laughs> we were, we were yeah. definitely doing more. Yeah. And it got shut down. Yeah. Is there a way to bring it back? You guys can come work with me. I'm always costuming Maybe. something. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll collaborate on something. That's what it's all about. Yeah. And Nettie's, I know, she, I, I, I can vouch for her because I've seen a lot of the costumes and stuff she's created throughout the years. She's so creative. Oh, yeah. Both of you. So creative. And, and yeah. Resourceful. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I love to do. I love to create something where I just find stuff around the house. That's my fun challenge. Just to, I know you like same thing, Nettie. Like, all right, what can I do with this old book? And what can I do with this old ribbon? And can we make something work? You know, recycle and repurpose it. And then, so for your, is it called Bella's dolls? Yeah, Bella's Mrs. Bella's dolls. dolls. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, you know, before I, I, I do want to ask you, but yeah, we want to know like about your different endeavors and like what they entail. Like you were talking a little bit before about like the champagne skirts and things. Mm -hmm. Like, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, Maybe do you have any videos that you could show or yeah, you know. yeah absolutely. Yeah, um, Mrs. Bella's dolls is a division of my tribute productions tribute productions has props and act actors and models and dancers and musicians whereas mrs bella's dolls just focuses on all the beautiful pinup girls and it's kind of a retro 1940s feeling old hollywood with the cigarette girls and we do lots of um, custom branding of the costumes and trays and it's we do a lot of events we, we've done like beyonce we did madonna's party we do a lot of celebrity oh, events wow. where it's like i never played with dolls so as an adult i get to dress these girls <laughs> and they're like my beautiful life-size dolls and um you know they they get to go to these events and feel beautiful and bring that beauty to the party and so that's kind of its own division and we have um, a dance show there we've got the giant champagne glass, we've got the champagne skirts, we've got strolling tables that walk around the party with stuff on the table. Um, and mainly the cigarette girl, because that was like my first love. And Annette was with me the day we sat on the couch and I said, Nettie, how do I spell this? And she was right there with me that day. Mrs. Bella's dolls, Miss Bella's dolls, how do I do this? <laughs> and you were there and actually, Annette was my very first Mrs. Bella's doll. And I, I'll, I'll grab Grab the pictures if you want. Cutest pictures of Nettie yeah. and her little oh, cigarette girl. Yeah, she's so cute. Sure. Yeah. She's been by my side through so many things and she's such a soul sister and so grateful. But she was there just as I was building this brand. And now, you know, we're so excited that it's really grown and like the, so many girls that contact me that want to become a Miss Bell's doll. And yeah, so we just bring a lot of like fantasy to an event that just makes you feel like you're in old Hollywood and glamour and you know, yeah, it's super <laughs> awesome. That is super awesome and creative. I mean, yeah, I mean, it just seems like all of this stuff stems <laughs> from other stuff, but it all comes from you, you know? <laughs> I feel like they're all little pieces of my past lives, you know, like, like I wanted to be the cigarette, <laughs> right? I wanted to be the cigarette girl so bad, you know, how many years ago? Oh my goodness, 16 or something years ago. And so I kind of created it from something I wanted to do. And then if I had this 
much fun. Maybe my girlfriends would too. And so that's and that where that was. And, that is and nobody yeah. was doing it then. I right. Mean, mm -hmm. People trying to do it, but Bella does right. the best. You're the original. You're the best. Thank you. I, yeah. It, it, definitely a spark of love, love from, you know, all the different things that I do. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. And again, you know, the fact that they're doing well, that they've taken off and that you're, you're successful with the things that you do is just really, really awesome. Thank you. I, I really feel like that's when, when you put the energy in it, into it, you know, because there, there are people that do the same thing I do, but I feel like when you really put your intention and your heart into it, you will have success. You will have success for sure. And like I said, sometimes that takes a minute to open up, but just stay on your path, the travel path. Just stay on that path. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I, and that's what we're about. So like, oh, so. I got an answer for this one. Okay, <laughs> well, <laughs> you have to answer it. So tell us a fun fact about yourself. Ooh, fun fact. Um, fun fact. Okay. <laughs> uh, fun fact. Um, that I'm a total goofball. I, I think um, sometimes, you know, I, I have that Aries energy that seems serious, but um, really I'm just a big goof, I guess. I would say that. Um, and fun fact that... I do a really funny uh, Renee Zelliger. No, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I, I would just say that I'm a go really that I'm a goofball and that I'm a big kid and and that's you know sometimes like I said people perceive me as somebody serious but I'm not. I'm a goof. Right. That's great. That's what, is that what you were gonna say? I mean, I knew I knew that she was gonna say that. Right. Right. You know, right. Gonna say that. Also, um, Bella, she can she can drum. Oh, uh, uh, that's right. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, and and now Sophia can too. Um, that's right. Uh, my my drumming cake that <laughs> Annette made me. Remember the cake? Uh, um, I started taking drum lessons just because it goes hand in hand with dance, and I always wanted to play drums. And I decided at what was I thirty five. Um, I had just broken up with my boyfriend and I was like, you know what, I'm taking drum lessons. I don't, I don't care, you know, that I'm too old. And I got into my lessons and, um, and then I started playing congas and I did a little bit on stage. Um, not too much with my drums, but we're, we're bringing them back in our videos. So it's like a, a revival of, of drums. And now my daughter's taking lessons, so we share that together. But yeah, Ooh, wow. I love drums. Well, Thank we'll you. be looking out for that. Thank <laughs> you. Like ears. <laughs> no. Yeah. I, I, two words. Electronic drums. I did. I, I, I gave them to my nephew. I wish I would have kept them. I, I gave them to my nephew, which was great because now he's a drummer, actually. He's a drummer in a, in a pretty successful band. So those electric drums did their thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, they're really good. My son used him when he was younger, when he was drumming, which uh -huh. I just kept up. That's a whole other thing. I get oh, the dancing yeah. and drumming thing. Yeah. But um, and my husband uses them as well because he also works with with students and does collaborations. Oh, cool. he uses them, but now, yeah, he does more of that. And he's if he's going to work drum. with drums, if someone needs drums, sometimes it's, yeah. <laughs> does he, he, he still drums? Really Oh, he, he's still drumming now? He's still drumming? Yeah, he plays like every instrument. Yeah. <laughs> he's married to a musician too. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I'm putting together a drum project right now. So have him, have okay. him email me. Yeah. Doing a dance. Yeah, like a I dance told him. Drum. Well, also, also, my son is a dancer. He taps, among oh. other things. So. <laughs> I love He's a performer. It. How old is he? Yeah. How uh, old is your son? 
He just turned Email 18. Me. Yes. Okay. I've got two options. I have some work for him. Okay. And he goes to an arts Great. high school. What's the name yeah, CSR. He goes to CSR. He's oh, graduating this year. Oh, that's Friday. awesome. Oh, I yeah. love that. Yeah. Sophia and I just started tapping yeah. again because I, I hadn't tapped in 30 years. And so um, we actually found a workout tap class. Oh, and um, we, we started doing that just to kind of get moving again. Oh, cool. That's yeah. great. Yeah. So, do you teach any classes like that or? I, I don't. My daughter definitely could because she's really good. She's like super advanced tapper. So um, we're just, we're yeah. actually looking for a class right now. Okay. We're looking for something local. Yeah. 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 So tell us everywhere we can find you. <laughs> okay. You got a pencil? Here we go. Says, oh my God, she's amazing. Oh, I want to work with her. Oh, I want to apply with her. I want to hire her. Who it is. Tell them. Um, tribute, tribute. We're, we're all over, but we, um, like if you want to do Instagram or Facebook, it's Tribute Productions. Um, also, Mrs. Bella's Dolls or Champagne Dolls. We've got Madonna Double, and then we've got Her and Her Productions, which is my daughter's and my site. So all four of those, and you can, any of those, you'll find me. And we'll include those in the links as well. Thank you. Yeah. And For tell sure. Sophia we're going to have to have her to come on and do an interview also. Definitely. That would be amazing. I think that would be really great. She'd oh. love that. And then I could stand me up and the camera and film you. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. You guys could play switch. We do this like every Saturday, we do this, you know, and I'm talking her into creating characters and. Like she's far surpassed me, you know. She puts on a Gaga costume, and I'm like, "Who is that?" I you know, have you seen? Yeah, she's amazing. And she's she, she's 16. I know, right? Going wow. going on going on 40, really. She's she's always been an old soul, but um, she she's, she's really observant and you know really really creates a character. So it's fun to watch her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's great. Is there anything else that you want to tell us or say? That I love you, you guys, and I'm grateful to you both for allowing me to be here with you and for everything that you guys do to empower women. I say thank you to you both, and um, thank you for allowing me to be here today and share my story. Thank oh, you. It's our we pleasure and our honor. Truly. And I miss you, Nettie. I know we have to do something soon. We were talking Please. about going to the Renaissance. Oh, wow. when it's not it, hot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Keep keyword. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're trying to go this weekend, but it's going to be too hot. Too yeah, hot. It's gonna, it's too oh, my God. And then my son's going to be mom. It's always hot at the Renaissance Fair. That's true. Get it. That, is, even that is true. That's a good point. It's like, whatever. True. Well, if we don't do that, then let's do something for sure. You guys, yeah, come over and play in costumes. Yes, let's do it. Oh, videos, yes, yes. Oh, thank you so much, Bella. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us here today. Absolutely, and it's we'll my be pleasure. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.